Hello everyone, I am Sacred and thank you for joining me in Hearts of Iron 4. Well, this is another spotlight, but in this spotlight I am not going to play this mod, I am just going to let the AI play the mod and then we'll see uh, how this mod actually progresses. Link to this mod is down below in the description, you see it's like a complete, well... Um, I don't know how, how I should say it. It's called Insane Count Race, and well, the the uh, name of the mod hits uh, describes it quite well because, uh, well, countries are fairly OP. Most of the countries are fairly OP, so uh, yeah, that's all right. I'm just gonna go ahead and spec it already. While the game is uh, being played at the highest speed, I'm just gonna, well, alright, I pressed the wrong button, excuse me, it's a spectator. There we go. So, well, in this mod, the countries, they have, like, uh, quite a bit of factories, right? Like, France has 70 military already, 110 civilian. Italy, Italy has 110 civilian, 90 military, so... Just all of the countries have, like, insane amount of factories. Even Saudi Arabia owns, like, most of their peninsula, and they have, like... And they have factories, so perhaps this mod is also quite fun when you play it, actually. You played with, with friends in multiplayer mode, right? Don't expect uh, historical ac accuracy or historical events. This suddenly, suddenly not the mod for it, just like I don't know, a, a different way to play Hard Lion 4, where just yeah, every country starts quite with a huge ass military and the insane amount of factories. So yeah, that is that is what is this mod is about, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, actually, if you well. If you would like to see me playing here as a country like France or Germany or the Roman Empire, please let me know down below in the descriptions. Or as the US, they are where well, the strongest country. Or as the US. Or as Canada, or I don't know. You, you choose it. I'm going to make a poll, but I, I cannot include every country there. Or you know, so it is still up to you to decide. So. China has like, well, just 3 million troops and they got like, yeah, 90 military factories. So I don't think Japan is going to have an easy time to conquer China, right? I don't think so. No, I mean, wars, well, are most likely just gonna be like a standstill only. Let's see. Well, they still have the army corruption in combat officers, so at least that, I suppose, yeah, even may even itself out. All of the countries have just tons of, well, different national spirits, actually. Well, it is a question, actually, why? Uh, well, the Soviet Union is doing the Great Purge, despite Leon Trotsky actually leading the Soviet Union. I think this is, yeah, just a problem that uh, the air can choose, choose be between both. Maybe it just doesn't realize that Trotsky is leading. So, yeah. And you have the you have Viking Sweden Lee left by a complete Viking, possibly. Yeah, yeah. Norway, the Kingdom of Denmark, <laughs> led by, I think that guy, uh, I think I know him from a TV series, but I may be mistaken. Let's check the music's out, right? Uh, the Heimische Aufmarsch. Yeah. Yeah, lots of different modes of Sabaton. Yeah, quite a bit. Well, this, this song is quite interesting if you get the meaning. It's, I think, from the German Democratic Republic at that time. Well, if you check, let's actually go ahead and check the ideology. Oh, well, Denmark is actually non-aligned. They are non-aligned. Yeah. Uh, if we check, what can we check? Oh, what did I check again? Where is the... Yeah, the diplomacy, right? The country list. So there are certainly more fascist nations. The Argentine League is fascist, Empire of Manchukuo, Greater Finland. What Finland actually has a blue Nazi? Well, that is pretty realistic, right? Yeah, well, that. I, I didn't know that Finland actually would use that flag, but well, alright, I suppose. Yeah, they don't have that many factories, so the Soviet Union, with their extreme amount of factories, that's how fast are they building factories? Yeah, like, just again, 120, like, 
one factory per day, it seems like, for me, to be honest. Yeah, I won't be surprised to see a war well, like, uh, countries fight with, like, 1,000 factories each. But, yeah, well, um, yeah, right, so, uh, I don't know, actually. Well, their yeah, countries just uh, unified there as well. They don't exist anymore. Mm. Well, there is there isn't really a war a war going on. I'd really love to see how the AI just uh, cuts itself. I think the game may just not um, <coughs> progress so fast because it may require quite a bit of resources. Like it may like at certain dates, I suppose. So. The Germany is just doing uh, German stuff. Uh, then... And they didn't choose for the Rhinelands. Well, actually, you, you could actually re-establish uh, the Eisenreich as well as Germany. That would be fairly interesting to see. Like, faction-wise, we have the Axis, the Comintern and the Allies. The LS consists of. Yeah, well, what's this country? Of the. Uh, uh, what's that? United States of Central America. Right, of uh, British Guiana. Basically, of Britain, Canada, uh, the British Raj. Raj, and yeah, just Britain and her puppets, basically. Yeah, Britain has already over 100 uh, military dockyards, so they are just building military dockyards, how I see. At one point, well, they cannot build so much anymore because, you know, the consumer good ratio will always become higher, I suppose. Then that may be a thing, but the axes are already being led by, well, the, the Großgemeinde Reich and the Roma Empire. Roma Empire, well, I think. The Roman Empire with an N behind it would be, well, more appropriate. Because, uh, well, in general, it's Roma, also, uh, gypsies are, are called Roma, so uh, I don't think the module actually meant that. <laughs> it's still actually quite funny if you think about it, right? Yeah. John Mayer also wants Luxembourg, come on, we want to see a fight, right? Actually, Italy can assume leadership at one point if they just have more factors. I don't think they would get so weak. Well, Hitler... Hitler looks different, right? It kind of yeah, he looks different. Spain is also... Yeah, they are recovering from the Civil War. Maybe like forever, so... I think if world tension is too high, they may still eventually join a faction. Is it just me, or... Is the game just uh, progressing slower than usual, or it may actually be just me, you know? I don't know. Yeah, well, perhaps because uh, the AI is just, well, not doing things that nice. Let's just take over as Germany, right? Just take over. So let's attack someone. Who do you want to attack? Let's see. Uh, let's, uh, let's... Uh, yeah, I don't have the uh, faster... Cause belly mod turned on Sally, I'm sorry. I, I normally have the faster faster cause belly mod turned on. Right now I just don't. Yeah. I may have actually turned it on because well, you know, the, the game it just takes way too long. I think that why we don't have it, that is fine. We have to wait for quite some time. Yeah. I mean if you play this mod, you, you should turn on the faster cause belly mod, I think, because there's no point in waiting for uh, so long, right? Not really. So, yeah. Well, I think that's alright. So the uh, okay, just four percent world tension. I suppose I'll go ahead. Just to fight on them already. Roskemalis, Reich. What about the Belgians? Would take three hundred sixty-five days. So just one entire year to justify. That's quite a bit. This is certainly quite a bit, right? Germany just just like spamming uh, military factories, as you see. Yeah, well, I mean, there's no difference if you just uh, watch the game continue or or play by yourself. So let's actually go ahead. 
Wait, that was half. Well, I, I suppose. All right, I can do the Rhineland thingy right now. The AI, of course, they do a a weird kind of uh, of well producing equipment to say the least. Yeah, we can at least get this nice and heavy ship going on. I don't know why we can already build it with five uh, naval dockyards. Mm. Let's see. But our our actually subjects. Oh well, Hungary is a rice protectorate actually. Well. Yeah, Hungary is our vassal. All right. At least we can just try to go ahead and say hello to the Dutch. Yeah, the Soviets, they just have holiday. They just have... Yeah, I think killing the Soviets will be, well, a mere hobby here. Like, killing billions of Soviets because they have, like, uh, close to a trillion factories. So, yeah, that, that is about it, right? I mean, you have Italy on your side. If we can... Uh, yeah, but still, like, taking out the Soviets, that is going to be fairly, fairly difficult. So I'll have to deploy paratroopers and that kind of stuff as well. I don't really like how the air is just doing their army management here. It's all too oh, weird, you know. Yeah, I don't think I'll need so many heavy fighters, naval bombers, what, what we even have rugged interceptors. Oh, oh okay. Short range, air defense, air attack, but uh, well, they are only good for air, they cannot like to close this. But still, I think that is the why. Like, Germany just went forward in time. Yeah, at least we can get lots of them. I mean, they are. Yeah, the, the countries just start off with, like, uh, the newest equipment here. Of just, yeah. Forget about the fact it's quite OP, it's just, yeah, maybe. Supposed to be quite that way, right? Yeah. So what this mod is just about, I suppose. You're just getting two planes per day. Why the hell not, right? I don't need that. Why the AI doesn't realize that uh, the plane over there is just something very superior? It simply doesn't. What do we have? Well, tower artillery. Do we have some? Let's actually get anti-tank and anti-air, like ten each. And each, uh, what about artillery? I don't know why we just let's not get heavy tanks. Let's get mechanized equipment. Press equipment. We are getting anti-air already, so I can just delete that thingy. Get even more artillery, more support equipment, more weapons. There we go. Um, I'll, I guess, I, I also have anti-tank queued in already. Did you do? Uh, Alright, well. It's just, yeah. It's. Uh, <sighs> I really don't know what I should do, actually. Uh, well, I suppose taking out the Dutch will be uh, one nice step to make things work nice. To get more factories here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, uh, sadly, the Austrians, they aren't so OP, so we can't, unfortunately, uh, take take their valuable factories. But yeah, the, the fact that every country has like a trillion research slots is also, well, of nice to see, right? I really don't know what I should do because. I barely play with uh, so many factories at all, so, uh, so I'm just getting some stuff, maybe mechanized equipment. I suppose to have a mainly mechanized army may be quite beneficial, but I really don't know. Uh, we should certainly get air supremacy. Alright, alright, the first war is going on there. Yubei Shangma, yeah, alright, let's see how the war actually looks like. So like 1 million against 1 million troops. Yeah, this is gonna be fairly interesting to see, but not as interesting as a world war, of course. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should maybe also build civilian factories, but I'll... 
I'll just go ahead and just build uh, military ones at this moment. Well, we are halfway done justifying against the Dutch. I mean, at least we'll also get the Dutch East Indies, you know, so... It's quite nice. We'll get them. Wow, they are quite OP, actually. Not OP, but, I mean... Very... Are stronger than the Netherlands, at least, in, in all aspects, right? So... I suppose my main division will be mechanized, perhaps. I don't know actually how much do we have. We have okay, just 1000 mechanized. Maybe just like pump out more infantry divisions. Let's see, that's like a hundred, yeah, 1.3 million men. This seems like a good idea, right? I'm completely. I, I just don't know what to do. Yeah, right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I think yeah we cannot see uh, from the high commissariat, 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 or the USSR. I think I'll do the answers right now. It would be just it would be just nice to have these well extra factories to boost our industry. I'll just build fine factories everywhere and just just let me in peace. Uh, let's get some artillery, maybe. Yeah. I'm really, I, I just don't know, to be honest. What kind of template would be the most effective, actually? I just really don't know. Uh, I don't think just infantry divisions are maybe, they aren't so good to attack. They, they just have a breakthrough of 46, while our, while our mechanized has a breakthrough of, well, 94, but it's, it costs 6,000 to produce. This just costs 1,400 to produce, so... Actually, infantry may be the best, because considering the stats, it may not be the fastest, but it still may be a good choice to just produce overall. I'll just go ahead. We certainly need much more equipment, more weapons, maybe. Just to, well, we can safely just get this for the times five wheel right because yeah. And we are getting like six planes per day, so well air supremacy should be ours at least. Um Yeah. I'll, uh, I think I'll actually play this mod and see on just uh they're yeah, going to get a new Supreme Commander. Alright. Out of all the army, I suppose. So, yeah. Just... I am, I'm very, very much overwhelmed with this, to, uh, to say the least. But I think you may have noticed this already, right? Just as I'm quite overwhelmed and not just know what to do. Well, please let me know how you th what you think about this mods. Uh, one of my uh, Steam friends produced this, I just thought, okay, why not take a... made this, like, a trillion updates. I, said, I thought, alright, take a look. See... Yeah. Well, I'm also... I think... I think actually... Uh, yeah, I also play... I also plan on uh, recording different games like Tropical 4, I think I may even have uploaded one before this episode gets live, but I'm not sure about that. I may be, actually, I may have it. So, but I don't want to be honest, just more artillery rights, just, yeah. It can't be bothered with all this micromanagement, I'm just gonna go ahead, assign these 135 divisions just to attack the poor Dutch. Yeah, we just have, like, generals with a trillion, uh, trillion, um, well, Attributes. How do you call this? You know what I mean. Yeah, these uh, attributes, characteristics. You know, before the Dutch get ready, uh, we also have Italian troops there, but I won't call my allies. Let's see. I hope. Yeah. All right. They call in the Dutch East Indies. Let's just hope they won't join the allies, because I think, uh, well, they can join it if war attention becomes uh, high enough, but, well, we just rushed through them. If I, 
Well, the Dutch East Indies are considered a major nation, so we cannot force the Dutch to capitulate. Uh, well, alright, this, this is interesting. Very, very interesting. I'll just annex them to the German heartland. Oh no, I've done a mistake. I forgot to... Alright, I have to reload, I'm sorry. I forgot, you know, to take the other Dutch provinces and now things are just quite weird. But we just got, like... What? Um... Alright, France just, just like, declared war, right? What? It's France... What? France... Wait, what? What? Wait, I just reloaded the safe game? Did France really like out of... Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I... Okay, this is... Alright, yeah. I don't think we are prepared for that, right? I don't think they have troops on the French border. Um, well, so we may have to do a change of plans, right? Um... Yeah, uh, alright, this is fairly uncommon, let's just call him the Roma Empire, uh, I just see that they don't have any divisions, they are the French. Alright, so, yeah. France having like a trillion troops, but not being actually in a faction. Yeah, I don't think I should attack the French through this territory, so I'm just gonna safely ignore the French there. Well, a good thing about this mod is that we actually have like 60... That a general can lead up to 64 divisions, so this is fairly nice to see, I think. This is a fairly good thing. Yeah, 67, to keep 67, that would be fairly enough. Let's just, uh, yeah, reorganize our air force actually in that manner. Well, I, I don't think I, I'm going to... Well, you, you saw this mod. You know, what do you think about it? Let me know if you played this. I'm just gonna get my points up here. Yeah, I, I shouldn't get in the, the other one, considering that... Uh, that we just have so many rocket interceptors. Um... So, well, if we check the war, yeah, it's called in Hungary as well. If we check the war, then we, we, we see what? I can't... Okay, we have to do it that way. If we check the war, then we see that... Why can't I check the war screen? Hello? Hello, it's just a game of no, I'm not doing what it's supposed to do, right? So, yeah, I don't know. Well, we are at, at war with France. Let's just go ahead and declare war against the Dutch. Yeah, that should be fairly easy to take out, or yeah, boss does the job. I'll gladly accept your stuff. <coughs> but the thing, yeah, okay, maybe I have to just reload the safe game, right? So we can. What also satellite to the Dutch East in these? Well, I'm gonna satellite them, of course. Why the hell not? Let's pass a few times satellite Dutch East in these. Well, should I pop it or should I annex the Netherlands? I, I don't know actually. Well, I, it, it doesn't really matter. I just annex them. There we go. We got the factories. Now we can see. Well, we have 6 million troops. The French, they have 3.1 million troops. So, yeah, to push through France, we would have to push through Belgium. But this would mean on the. Oh, justification just lasts just uh, last 20 days. So they are being granted by, by the Dominion of Canada, so the Second World War will be inevitable. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead for the remaining minutes, make Germany declare war on Belgium. Maybe we go and just spectate the game and see how it actually progresses. So the Second World War being up and active in uh, 13, 1937. Basically, the Axis... Well, Belgium didn't join the Allies. I don't know why they are so reluctant of joining the Allies. I mean, France and Belgium, they should join the Allies, right? But they kind of don't. 
Uh, you do just see that France is still not doing that nightly, and yeah, let's actually see for the next few minutes how all right the battle uh, came to a halt to a standstill in the Low Countries. Okay, yeah, I think we may have more fun playing this mod with a few friends, I suppose. But yeah, the French AI just com just completely gave up. Uh, French Algiers and French Africa. It is fairly just to become many troops just France loses well. Just alright, well. Okay, alright. At least the war came to a halt. And how did they push through the Maginot line? This completely doesn't make any sense. Well, Britain just sent volunteers to France. I don't really know why. I kinda dodge on the Allies. Let's gonna attack France and see uh what they think. Uh, yeah, world tension has to be at 80%, that is why. Well, that is why they cannot join the Axis. Well, that makes sense. Why they can't join the faction if it needs to be at 80%. So, yeah. Okay, Belgium is gone, and well, let's just see how long France can actually stand. Well, I mean, they have around. 3 million troops, so they should be able to resist for quite a while. If the AI wouldn't have just given up the Maginot line, but well, they, they just did. All things looking in Japan, let's see. Japan, 360 factories. The Manchurian projects, well, don't think they'll have an easy time attacking China this time. Yeah, the German army just... I don't know what France is doing. Now being pulled back on most of the sides, and like the Allies not even... Allowing the French to join them, their fate is I think sealed. Well, anyways, I'll call this spotlight a good one, until now. Please let me know how you liked this, uh, please leave a like and a subscribe. And yeah, just 1 million French people gone already. So yeah, please leave a comment, also a like, and goodbye and have a nice day.